Caddis Maximus here. This time, just a quick video about a uh, original or relatively original 1950s and 60s uh, vintage Exacto knife set. Back in the day, this is what they looked like. You know, it's really vintage because it still has the character for the X for the Exacto. A little bit of history. These actually were, and you kind of think people are <laughs> they're kind of like a scalpel. That's actually what Exacto knives were originally invented for. And uh, due to the complexity of this chuck here, it couldn't be sanitized properly. So they couldn't use them in the medical field. So they started going after the hobbies and crafts. And that's where Exacto was born. Back in this era of 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s, there were a variety of Exacto tool sets. This would be just a basic assortment with a uh, number one assortment of uh, five or, excuse me, six different blades. You get five blades in the little pack plus this blade here. But Exacto had just some huge master sets over the years, as well as much nicer handles, but this was the basic. And yes, they used to all be entirely American made. The handles were American made. Blades were American made. It was even printed in the US. Not too bad. I do like the little packages because they have this little plastic thing around them just to keep them organized. And they came with two sets of uh, a variety set of assortment sets of blades. So that's all there really is. This is the way they've been for a really long time, surprisingly enough. It's just hard to, it's just interesting to find ones that were really all original made in America. I don't think they've been made in the U.S. for quite some time now. Oh, and yes, I stopped doing the uh, intro just to make things a little bit more speedy with my videos. I know I've done intros for like, I don't know, going on four years and finally decided, oh, they're unnecessary and... Probably shouldn't have done them in the first place, so I went ahead and uh, stopped doing that. Let's zoom in here. Uh, yes, not only did I find that, I found a whole bunch of packs of original blades, so this is all pretty cool. One of the things they do mention on these packs here is VI, VPI wrap, rust preventative. And number one assortment, like so. Which is funny because it doesn't seem that they did much of a rust preventative on the blades that actually were on <laughs> pre-installed in the tool. But we'll take a look at how they've done on, on these. Especially after, these are probably 50 years old at least. Uh, at least. Uh, if not 60 or even 70 years old. Which is quite a bit of time, so we'll see how that works. This is their VPI wrap. I don't know what kind of paper this is. Maybe it's formaldehyde coated or something like that. And look at that. They don't look very rusty in there. Let's take a look at the blades that we do get. They'll probably get rusty from my clammy hands. So you get a curved blade. You get one of these little guys. Two of these little guys, interestingly enough. Oh, I see. So even though it's an assortment, really what you get is one curved blade, two of these angled blades, Two and two spares of the precision cutting blades, along with the third one that comes pre installed in the tool. Now, I'm just noticing, like on this blade, even though these were pretty nice and American made, you can see that they had just a little bit of manufacturing inconsistency. You can see the reflection on the edge of this blade here just didn't have come on now, just didn't have the best sharpening. If I can get that glint again. There it is. You can see where it's kind of rounded a little bit on the edges. Let's take a look at this one. This one is a little bit better. So that was the thing that has improved in more modern eras of the, is the precision of the machines that do things like sharpen razor blades are more consistent. So anyway, that was the little video I had. I just I picked up the vintage set and looked around on YouTube and there wasn't any real videos that were just kind of went over what uh, just a basic uh, vintage original American made exacto knife set consisted of. And this is what they did. And uh, even better, for $1.25, it's actually a pretty good deal, especially with a little storage container. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.